whistling, hissing and puffing came from the world's oldest steam cog locomotive. It's still delighting visitors along Austria's largest lake in the Tyrolean Alps, the Achensee. It's been more than 500 years since Emperor Maximilian moved his imperial court to Vienna. Now, with him, he brought six boys to make up his court boys' choir, now known around the world as the Vienna Boys' Choir. The choir is not only a Viennese tradition, it's a national treasure. Today, around 100 boys between the ages of 10 and 14 are broken up into four choirs named for composers associated with the choir, Haydn, Schubert, both choir boys themselves, Mozart and Bruckner. The four choirs give around 300 concerts a year worldwide, as well as performing for recordings and in concerts and operas here in Vienna. And of course, they still sing at Sunday Mass in the Imperial Chapel, as they have for five centuries. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take a peek into a rehearsal. Care to join me? I just had to come in and hear it for myself. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, also, I have to admit, I want you to meet the choir master, Gerald Wiert. Hello, Gerald. Welcome. Thank you very much. Can you tell me what the boys will be singing for us? In this concert, we will be singing the Feuerfest Polka, which is the fireproof polka. The fireproof polka. Can anybody tell me what that means in English? What are the words? Uh, it's about a hammer and an anvil talking to each other. Aha. I can imagine what they would be saying. <laughs> and you are so busy in your lives. Uh, where do you go next? Um, next, um, we will go to the United Arab Emirates, to Doha. Yes. After that, to the USA. Really? And after that, to Japan. Really? Yes. Oh, I love, I love, that. I love all those countries. So uh, you're going to have a wonderful time. I'm sure you've been before, right? Uh, not to Japan. Not to Japan? Well, not yet. that's, that's going to be a, a treat. And apart from music, and I know that's such a pleasure, but do you have other activities that you love? Yeah, going to pop concerts or ice skating or something like that. Yeah, anything else? Um, Listening to music, I'm sure. Yeah. I like to go inland skating. Yes. yes. And uh, being with families, I would think, huh? Yeah. yeah. Since you travel so much. Listen, I, I won't keep you. Thank you for letting me listen. And I will see you all at the concert. Good luck, by the way. Thank you. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye. Thank you.
Tracy Anson's performed double duty on Joseph Strauss's Farfrey's Altar. I don't believe I have ever heard the anvil played quite so well. The orchestra chose the next piece on the program.